Providing safe, adequate and affordable shelter has always been a preoccupation of the government. This commitment can be seen through the mandates of the National Housing Trust, the Housing Agency of Jamaica and the Jamaica Mortgage Bank. The thrust to provide housing for all Jamaicans can also be seen through the work of the Ministry of Local Government and now the National Social Housing Programme. The National Social Housing Programme is an extension of the Housing Opportunity Production and Employment Programme, HOPE. It was developed in 2018 to improve the housing conditions of the country's poor and indigent. The idea is to support the development of affordable housing solutions right across Jamaica. The National Social Housing Program, NSHP, achieves its objectives in three ways. The first is the provision of indigent housing. The benefits will be equitably distributed across 63 constituencies with each constituency receiving five units per annum. Then there is the relocation of vulnerable communities. Persons whose lives are in imminent danger will be given priority attention. And then the third modality is the upgrading of tenements or as we call them big yards. Uh, one such project will be undertaken in each constituency where we can identify tenement yards. The Ministry of Economic Growth and Job Creation has oversight for the NHSP, which is administered by a secretariat. Formed in 2019, the secretariat is headed by National Director Danville Walker. The NHSP delivered its first house in 2019. Since then, 29 houses have been completed at a cost of $250 million. They include 12 three-bedrooms, 11 two-bedrooms, two one-bedroom two one units, and one tenement yard, which impacted three families. With over 70 persons benefiting from the new social housing program, plans are in place to give even more Jamaicans similar access. 15 units are currently under construction and are on track to be completed by July. The program is designed to address people who are in need, people who can't get houses, going the regular method, but it is also designed to bring hope to communities that are in need of such interventions. So if we can make an impact on this kind of you know, housing situation, then we would have started well down the road to address the issue of housing poverty. 